Hello and welcome to this WordPress tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to do SEO or search engine optimization um, with WordPress. And this is one of the reasons why I like WordPress a lot because it makes it so easy to to market online and to do um, SEO so that Google can find your website and so that searchers can find your website which is the most important. So here um, I'm at one of the sites I manage. It's homestudioequipmenttips.com. Um, right now I'm just going to go into the back end of the website. <clears throat> and I have downloaded an, a plugin called Yoast. Y O A S T. And you can do it if you just go into the back end of your WordPress website, hover over plugins, go to add new, and then type in Yoast. I think SEO, Yoast SEO. Search the database. This might take a sec. And then you should find, let's see, Word, right here, WordPress SEO by Yoast. That's the plugin you want. It's a great plugin. Um, what it does is it adds an SEO tool to all of your pages and your posts so you can optimize all of your pages. So I will show you how to do that now. So how I do SEO is I've just written blog posts and I've ranked first for this site and it, this site gets about um, 2,000 people a month to it which is small cause, but pretty good. Um, so what I do is I basically focus on creating articles that are SEO optimized. And you can see here um, I got two articles that are pending that or that are scheduled to go tomorrow and the next day um, <clears throat> but let's go here to how to write um, song lyrics so what I've done is I've got used the Google keyword planner and you can get that if you sign up for account for Google AdWords um, Google AdWords is where you create uh, PPC ads or, or search ads when people when you see that ads in the yellow box in the Google search results, that's a PPC ad or AdWords ad. But um, create that, and you can you can get a good idea of what people are searching for if you use the keyword planner tool. <clears throat> um, so what I've done is I've researched keys uh, keywords, and I saw that how to write song lyrics um, was getting a couple thousand searches a month. So I'm like, okay, I need to write a blog post. So what I did is created the title up here, how to write song lyrics, right? And then you'll see also in the permalink, write song ly lyrics, right? Or let's edit that to how to write song lyrics. And that will be into the URL, um, the domain, which is which helps a little bit. But what I do is uh, I use this plugin a lot to help me. Um, you can see here a light um, right here. It's a green light. It says your SEO is good for this blog post, which is good. Um, so you write your blog post, and the cool the thing when you write a blog post, you want to put the keyword in the keyword, which is how to write song lyrics. You want to put the keyword into the the blog post. So. Um, when your reader is reading it, they read that, and search engines will read it as well and say, "Oh, this post is about how to write song lyrics." But if you scroll down here, um, you see this WordPress SEO, WordPress SEO by Yoast. This is the plugin here, and it goes into all your pages and posts, um, just underneath this content um, deal here. Anyways, and this is where you're going to enter your, your information. So the focus keyword I put: how to write song lyrics. Right, um, it tells me that it's an article heading, which is good, and the page title, which is this right here, which is good. Um, it's right now it's saying it's not in the URL, but I just updated that when I started this video. Content, it's two in two times, so that's the article, and then meta description, it's one in once, which is this right here in bold. Right, the cool thing about um, Yoast is that you can go to this tab here, and then it it tells you what you can do to improve it. But right now I'm I'm doing pretty good here. 